defending your religious freedom. Here is Dr. Chaps. Our next story comes from WND.com. It reports that one particular Republican and maybe a handful of others are now siding with the LGBT left, the homosexual lobbyists, and they are threatening religious freedom with a new bill that they call the Fairness for All Act. Well, that's a phony label. They ought to call it the Take Away Your Religious Freedom Act because WND reports a coalition of Christian organizations is now opposing a bill that purports to resolve the conflict between religious rights and new rights established by the Supreme Court's homosexual marriage ruling. I don't know if that's what the Supreme Court did, but uh, now they're trying to enshrine that in law. The so-called and mislabeled Fairness for All Act is being introduced by Rhino Republican Chris Stewart, Republican from Utah. In fact, the Mormon church is strongly behind this new bill. Uh, But Chris Stewart from Utah promises to, quote, ban discrimination against LGBTQ people and protect religious institutions that uphold traditional beliefs about marriage and sexuality, end quote. So it's a hybrid, right? They're trying to say, we're gonna ban discrimination against LGBTs, but we're going to um, protect religious freedom at the same time. That's virtually impossible, I'm just telling you from, from my experience. But the purpose of this new bill is to offer an alternative to the even worse law that Nancy Pelosi has mislabeled the Equality Act, which is only gay rights all the time, no religious freedom. And that passed the House of Representatives in May, but was blocked in the Senate and is unlikely to come up for a vote anytime soon, reported the Religion News Service. John Stone Street, president of the Colson Center for Christian Worldview, you remember Chuck Colson, founded a good group, said his new uh, president, John Stone Street said, quote, The Fairness for All Act would enshrine into law something that simply is not true. And for Christians, that's got to be a non-starter. Here's what's not true, he says, that sexual orientation and gender identity are equal to race, that they are somehow immutable, something someone is born with, end quote. Well, I agree with Stone Street, I, I know that it's not foundational, it's not something you're born with like your race. Um, People change their sexual orientation and gender identity all the time. But the nonprofit organization Ministry Watch explained that just like the Equality Bill, Representative Chris Stewart from Utah, Rhino from Utah, his bill said it would expand federal laws that prohibit discrimination based on race, color, and national origin to now include sexual orientation and gender identity, which are not yet in federal law. Ministry Watch, one of the watchdogs we respect on Capitol Hill said, quote, LGBT activists have demanded Christian florists, photographers, and bakers must affirm homosexual marriage through their work in violation of their faith. On one of many lawsuits, the US Supreme Court scolded Colorado officials for hostility toward the Christian faith of Baker Jack Phillips. The Fairness for All Act is the result of several years of work to bridge the divide between LGBTQ people and religious conservatives, end quote. Supporting the compromise are the Council for Christian Churches and Universities sorry, Christian colleges and universities. The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, the Mormons in Utah want this bad bill. And the Seventh-day Adventist Church also wants this bad bill according to the report. But opposition on Capitol Hill is coming from our friends on, in the conservative movement, including Concerned Women for America, the Ethics and Religious Liberty Commission, the Heritage Foundation, Family Research Council, and Mission America. And that's the news. Our thanks to, uh, who gave us this wonderful report? WND.com, oh my gosh. Joseph Farah, your legacy continues in the hands of WorldNet Daily and the staff there who are bringing us these informative reports. Let's take a moment and discern the spirits. Let's imagine that there is uh, a group of people here, right? And let's call them 
the, the moderate Republicans who want to appease the LGBT political movement. We, the, these are real people, Rep. Chris Stewart is one of them, and he is playing footsie with those who have, in the past have been very hostile to our religious freedom. Even the Supreme Court, uh, like here in the Colorado uh, religious, the, the commission that oversees homosexual rights, right? And, and even before the Supreme Court rebuked them, seven to two, even Elena Kagan, the leftist Democrat, rebuked the Colorado Civil Rights Commission and saying that you cannot be hostile to Jack Phillips, the Christian baker who wants to opt out. Um, I appeared, and Matt Barber together, we appeared before the Colorado Civil Rights Commission, even before the Supreme Court rebuked them, we rebuked them. We stood in a public forum and practically, we didn't, without raising our voices, we gave them a, a stern tongue lashing that they remember to this day. And then the Supreme Court agreed with us and struck them down. But the far left is now being represented by this Republican from Utah, Chris Stewart. And if you discern the spirit in the movement, it is a demonic spirit of oppression that would take away your religious freedom. They'll try to put some modifiers in there to reach a compromise, I'm telling you, there is no compromise. What harmony does light have with darkness? Next thing that will be coming after is your children. The Bible says this in Galatians 5. Stand fast therefore in the liberty by which Christ has made us free. Do not be entangled again with the yoke of bondage. Let's pray about this. Father in heaven, we pray in Jesus name that you would mobilize your people to stand fast in the freedom that we won in the Supreme Court decision of Masterpiece Cake Shop. Lord, let there be no anti-Christian hostility by the big government forces on the left who try to pass laws like the Fairness for All Act or the Equality Act and ultimately try to undermine our ability to believe and teach the Bible to our children. Father, we pray that the next generation would grow under the same freedom that the last generation had, or even better in Jesus' name, amen. Let's take another short break. When we come back, a court rules that Amish children have to get vaccines if they're gonna go to school. Reading today's headlines, doesn't it seem sometimes like the world is unreal? We hear about rumors of wars and we see legislative and cultural battles here in America. But where is our hope? I think it's in the gospel of Jesus Christ. We're offering now a, a DVD series led by family ministry leader Vince Dacchioli, Real Christianity in an Unreal World. It behooves us to really understand what does it mean to be relevant as a Christian and to be real and to spread the gospel in a way to where more and more people will be in, will embrace it and move yep. in the right direction. We can send you the entire DVD series, which is three-part teaching with Vince and a bonus of my personal testimony for a suggested donation of just $30 if you call now at 866-Obey-God or write to the address on your screen or visit PrayInJesusName.org. We want to rush you this important teaching to ground your faith in real Christianity. Dr. Chaps needs your financial support to stay on the air. Would you please send your best donation today? Please visit PrayInJesusName.org to donate online. Or you can mail a check to Pray In Jesus Name Ministries, Post Office Box 77077, Colorado Springs, Colorado 80970. You can also call us toll free right now at 866-Obey-God. That's 866-O-B-E-Y-G-O-D. Please sign up for our free emails at PrayInJesusName.org. Again, that's PrayInJesusName.org. 